Hey guys, so this week is a really big week for me um, because it is the week that I learned to drive bobstays. Now, this has always kind of been something that's on my radar, something that I've wanted to try um, since I got into bobsleigh. And it, yeah, it's finally happening. Interestingly, my first ever Team GB affiliated uh, ride in a bobsleigh was actually here at the Lake Placid Bob School, sliding with uh, Brad Hall. So it's kind of come, well, not full circle, but a big circle round from starting in the back of the two man sled at Bob School to now being in the front of the sled at the Lake Placid Bob School. A almost exactly four years later, um, which, you know, I think that's I think that's pretty cool. So yeah, a, a lot of people have asked if I'm uh, nervous for it or anything, and, and honestly, right now, the answer is no. And I think the reason for that is because I, I honestly have no idea what to expect from it. I've not a clue, not a clue. You know, my entire career as a brakeman, obviously I've had my head tucked down and, you know, looking at the bottom of the sled or the guy in front, and so I, I don't know what driving is like. I have no idea. So it's kind of, because I don't know that, it's kind of hard to be nervous for it because I just literally don't know what it could be. You know, I could take really well to it. I could be terrible. At this point, I have no idea. First week is just by myself, mono Bob. And then the second week, I have uh, Chris Winrow flying out to meet me, and he's going to be my brakeman. So obviously, that's that's what I did for Brad, who is you know now just came uh, fourth at the World Championships. So hopefully, I can do something similar. And yeah, the only thing left to do now is to do it. So I don't know what I'm going to be able to film tomorrow. Uh, probably not much because I'm going to focus on you know, getting it done. I might see if someone can film my first run on their phone or something, but uh, I will check back in in a day's time and yeah, report back on what my first day of sliding's like. <laughs> Okay, so that is day one of being a driver in the books. And as you saw, it's a very speedy and high octane affair. Um, no, it, it was very tame, but obviously going through all of that, it didn't feel as tame as it looked for sure. The plan is to move higher up the track tomorrow. So we started at start four, which is down at corner nine of 19 here. Um, and I'm going to do one more run there tomorrow, I believe, and then move up to start three, which is another four or five corners higher. I don't, I can't tell you exactly. I'm not sure. And one funny thing that happened was basically there's these, there's um, a Latvian crew of four guys and they prepare all of the mono bob sleds and they're great and they move all of the sleds and everything. Now, when the first girl was going to go and I, I don't know her. I think she was about 15 or 16. She's in the youth program. She's about to go in and she said, like, oh my God, I'm not ready for this at all. Um, and as she sat down, the uh, the Latvian crew said, just looked her deadpan and just said, welcome to hell. <laughs> and I, that, that cracked me up because she was already nervous. And then he just goes, welcome to hell. So I'm just excited to, to crack on and go a little bit higher. That's pretty much it. It is my birthday tomorrow as well, so hopefully it goes well tomorrow. Okay, um, that's now day two done with. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, probably probably one of the more interesting birthdays I've ever had. It's going to make other birthdays seem positively tame by comparison, I think. Uh, today, didn't do the one run at the lower start and then go up to the higher start like planned. But <clears throat> unfortunately, it, they weren't my best runs. 
Uh, I say that having only done three previously, but yeah, I crashed in my first two of the three runs and then had a clean run on the third. Uh, for for two, well, it was kind of for one reason to be honest. On the it was on a bit. It's a big right hand corner, really quite high, and obviously we were much quicker for going from the higher start, but. More than that, on, on this corner, quicker just means higher. And so being higher up, um, I knew I had to steer off that corner. And I just did that too early, I think, in a rush to kind of get off the high corner. I just rushed it off, um, which then left some corner still there once I was off it. Uh, and the rest of that corner then just turned into a ramp and flipped me over. But the cool thing about these sleds and... Um, going the speed that we're at is actually three corners later my sled came back over on so you know like crashed again but crashed back so I was then back in control of the sled and I was able to control it down and across the finish line and actually my next run I absolutely nailed that corner which was great you know the coach that was there said I, I really I, I really adjusted well so brilliant but the adjustment that I made there I tried to then carry into a different corner, corner 17, in that I I didn't want to do too much. And in actual fact, that meant I did too little and I went too high in the corner, which put me in a bad place for the next one, and that flipped me. Anyway, um, yeah, I made some big changes with uh, the head coach, Nicola Minicello, who's here, because she says that, you know, there's, there's a couple of things that seem to be wrong in every corner as opposed to, you know, a couple of technical mistakes. So going to overhaul a couple of things tomorrow uh, and hopefully have much cleaner runs. There's a few things which I've spotted out. Yeah, so going to go into tomorrow with, with things to work on and, and the knowledge that actually crashing as a pilot in these monobobs it's fine. <laughs> it's fine compared to the last time I was in a sled before yesterday was crashing corner four at Whistler and riding a kilometre down on my head. And that was horrendous. <laughs> so then crashing here as a pilot with a bit of protection and being low, there's nothing. So yeah, it sounds way worse than it was to have had two crashes in three runs, but yeah, uh, I'm fine. I'm treating it as Lake Placid's birthday present to me that it was my first ever crash and second crash. I think I'm probably going to leave it a couple of days and check in maybe down the line like Thursday, Friday. It's Tuesday now um, because otherwise I'm just going to be rehashing more of the same stuff. So unless anything major happens, like I absolutely wreck it or, you know, set a track record. <laughs> <laughs> no, unless something major happens in the next couple of days, I'll sum it all up later in the week. So, see you later on. Just wanted to show the bruise that I got on this arm from a couple of whacks from the cowling of going over in that same corner and, and falling this way. And uh, yeah, it's pretty gnarly. Run so you can see where the where the cowling goes on my arm and then comes down and. That's just impact from falling off corner 18 a couple too many times. So yeah, <laughs> doesn't hurt that bad. I just figured I'd show it. Okay, well, as promised, I'm now checking in at the end of the first week of sliding. So I've done done the entire week and, and yeah, it was, it was largely kind of more of the same. Um, so moved up from, you know, start three to then start two uh, after a couple of clean runs from, from start two. And, and that made a big difference for the better for me. I actually preferred going slightly higher and having a bit more speed. It gave me control in places which I didn't have before. So did two two clean runs at like that. Um, that was on Friday. And then my goal was to then move up on Saturday and finally go off the top. Now, actually that was coming in, that was my goal for the entire two weeks was to just have one run from the top of Placid and well, I, I achieved that. Well, I had two. The first one didn't go completely to plan because in corner four, I came off a bit rough because I knew I had to steer a bit more. Anyway, that's inconsequential. What did happen though was my visor popped up. And so all down corner five, six, seven, the, the devil's highway, um, my visor was up. And so I was having to, you know, really squint. Then I was, 
high in seven, but then that brought it back down. I was able to kind of like nod it down. Um, but then it was rattling the whole way down the track. And it didn't have that much physical effect on me, but what it did do was mean that I was thinking about my visor. And obviously I need to be thinking about the track and even coming down the chicane into 17, I'm thinking, ah, oh, I'm still on my runners. What a, you know, what a luxury, um, as opposed to thinking how I'm going to take that corner and stuff. So second run, none of that. I taped my visor down and it was all good. And I actually had a decent run. I, I messed up one corner, but largely I was happy with that. So that's pretty much how my, how my week rounded up. Um, the troubles were very much at the start of the week. Um, I still, you know, had some issues with that one corner 18 kept, kept getting me, but I'm, I'm confident that I know what I need to do there because next week is two man week. So I'll be in a totally different sled with my brakeman, Chris Winrow, who I'm, I'm going to go pick up later on. And hopefully the last couple of days of that will be off the top. That's my goal. And uh, that should put me in, in good stead going into the off season and, and looking to drive next year. So yeah. That's the goal for this next week, and for the most part, I'd say this week was a success. I think I achieved pretty much what I wanted to do. Um, you know, I, I was kind of middle of the pack in terms of the progression, but you know, I, I'm okay with that. It's it's early days, and and I've I've achieved what I wanted to coming in. So, got another week to get better, and and I'm excited for that. And yeah, driving definitely seems like it's for me. Mm -hmm.